Hey guys, KT here. Welcome back to possibly the final part in the DMC Devil May Cry Let's Play. So last last time we actually defeated Mundus, and now the world knows about the demons. So what happens next? Let's find out. Gotta get started, and obviously we start off with the whole me being a badass. No. <laughs> Oh god, I still wish they would have made this like a training kind of loading screen, so like, if you want to practice out some combos beforehand, that'd be awesome, you know? What's happening? Limbo has collapsed into the real world. What was once hidden is now laid bare for all to see. Revolution is in the air. I never believed I'd live to see this day. It's the beginning of the end for the demons. Mankind would be free. Yes. Free from the demons. The path is clear for us to rule. What did you just say? The path is clear for us to rule. To rule what? This. Everything. Virgil. You mean like Mundus? No. <laughs> No. We'll be nothing like Mundus. We'll respect our subjects, not enslave them. Subjects? He means you. He means humans. I thought we were fighting for freedom. It was his freedom we were fighting for, not yours. Don't be so simplistic. Humans are frail. They're like children. They need protection. Not just from others, but from themselves. We, you and I, have saved them. You and I saved them? Who else? A human. Cat was useful, but... Useful? Cat saved my life. Cat held out under torture to keep your existence a secret. Cat led us through the tower to Mundus's lair. We would have failed 20 times over if it weren't for her. Listen, if you can't see the chaos that humans will cause, if you don't want the responsibility of protecting them, then stand aside. I'll rule alone. I didn't help you destroy Mundus so that you could take his place. I can't let you do this, Virgil. And I can't let you stop me, brother. Stand. Aside. Don't do this. Virgil, please. Stay out of this! Now we're to the point where we're fighting Virgil. Oh, hello! So basically, this is actually quite amazing, in my opinion, uh, that we're fighting Virgil. Uh, because it kind of reminds me of De Devil May Cry 3 with the fact that uh, they introduce you to who Virgil is, and most of the game you're fighting the guy. So this is like an amazing uh, battle brought back that was was not 
gonna happen in other games. Like, I mean, seriously. In the other DMCs. Sorry, Don't make cries. Don't be. Jesus. He takes. He does not take. He can take the punishment like it's no. Like it's no problem. Like if you can compare it to uh, Mundus or any of the other bosses in the game, he takes the most punishment. Oh, Jesus. What's going on with the storm? Hey, buddy, uh, it, it'd be nice if, I don't know, you stop what you're doing. Oh, God. This is actually quite epic, I'm not gonna it's lie. Not too late. Yes, it is. Okay, this is not very, uh, cool that, uh, you know, he's just using his teleport like crazy on me. Okay, what's next, Virgil? I didn't know your uh, whole devil ability led up to, I don't know, this bull crap. Oh god, they do not give you any room for failure here. Come on, we got this. Oh, come on. And I won. Take that, Virgil. is under my protection now. You've chosen the wrong side. You're not human, Dante. And you never will be.
who you are. You are Dante. Nothing more. And nothing less. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoy, if you do, make sure to leave a like and a subscribe if you're new to the channel, it really helps me out. Uh, I do have the DLC because this is the definitive edition, so in the next video we're going to be doing uh, Virgil's Downfall, which is an amazing, well I, I haven't played it so I wouldn't know, it seems like an amazing DLC. Uh, because you get to play as Virgil instead of Dante, so it must be different when it comes to combat, obviously. So, I'm expecting, like, Devil May Cry 3-ish kind of combat with Virgil, so, yeah. So, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!